microblading done, but you know what to do, what's next? Then stay with us. I'm gonna give you five things that you must do after microblading. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Monica with Image Divine Beauty. In this channel, we talk everything about beauty, fashion, microblading, and much, much more. This time will be microblading and what to do after you have your procedure done. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications on, on every single video that we upload. Today, I'm recording this video on my new location. I'm located inside the Boutique de Beauté Salon and Spa in Las Vegas. Do you have microblading done, but you don't know what to do, what's next, how to take care of them? Um, then we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you five things that you must do after you do your procedure. If you don't know what microblading is, then um, I want you to go and see my video. I'm gonna put the link down below on the comment, comment section. It's called, what is microblading? Right there, I give you all the information you need to know before your procedure, what to look for, uh, what to, the questions that you need to ask your uh, therapist and, and much, much more. Today, we're gonna pretend that you already have your microblading done and, and you are like, okay, what's next? In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the aftercare of microblading, what you have to do after you have your procedure done. I'm gonna give you five things that you have to do if you want to keep your microblading just like they are before you leave my studio. Number one, it's gonna be on how to take care of your eyebrows. Before you leave your microblading artist studio, she, should, she or he should tell you what exactly you have to do at home. It should tell you step by step what to do, how to take care of them, have them in writing. Because sometimes, you know, we tell you what to do and we agree, you understand everything, but you go home and for some reason you have, you know, your kids, your lifestyle, and then you forget what you're supposed to do. Well, for that, you need to get everything in writing. So if you forget about any of the steps, then just go back and read them and do them. Um, that is very important. You have to take care of your eyebrows. The first week is the most crucial week. Um, your healing process, your pigment retention, um, your scabbing, or if you don't scab, that depends on the first week and it depends on you. So you have to take care of them the first week. Very, very important. Um, number two will be the tools that you need for your um, microblading. Your microblading artist should give you um, some kind of ointment if the, the eyebrows are supposed to be moistened all the time. It should, she's supposed to tell you what, if you run out of that ointment, uh, you can always come back and get more from her or can get it at the, um, at the store or maybe you have at home something that you can use. But make sure you have all the tools that um, they're necessary for you to take care of them at home. Uh, from cotton balls, from uh, baby wipes, um, anything, anything that you need to take care of them, you have to have them at home ready before your procedure or when you leave your microblading artist studio. And number three, um, that is you. I know, I know what you're thinking. Um, you come to my um, studio and then you have these beautiful eyebrows, they look amazing, you love them, but then if you don't take care of at home, you might lose the pigment, you might lose the um, strokes, those beautiful strokes that we created, you can lose them and you have to take care of them. And the thing is that if you come to me a week or two weeks later and say, you know what, I lost my pigment, I don't have my eyebrows anymore, um, I don't know what happened, I know what happened. <laughs> um, I know, I can tell if you take care of them the first week or you didn't. It's like when you go to the dentist and, and they ask you, Did you, have you been flossing? And you say, yes. And they go like, mm -hmm, yeah, I can tell. So I can tell if you took care of um, your eyebrows the first week, even if you take care of them um, step by step, even if you do everything, your body might do some scab because the cuts on your skin. So um, you might lose one or two, a few um, hair strokes, but you're not gonna lose all of them. When you lose all of them, 
that tells me that you didn't take care of them at home and i will know if you didn't take care of them if you, even if, if you tell me i follow all the instructions um uh, and i did whatever you told me to do i can tell who did and who didn't so you know so make sure you take care of them okay number four um the things that you need to avoid to um have your microbading eyebrows last a long time um for me those are my instructions every uh, microblading artist is different so make sure you listen to your eye uh, microblading artist for me it will be um, like no swimming no saunas do not clean your garage you know on the first week now remember i'm telling you all of this for the first week first two weeks if you can that would be great we don't want to get a infection on your eyebrows we don't want them to get scabs in it so you don't lose them and if you do get scabs don't remove them let them fall by itself and number five will be your touch-up your touch-up is very important 95 90 to 95 percent of my clients need a touch-up just a very few that they don't uh, because of the skin um, condition uh, because of they, they took care of them really really good but 90 to 90 percent 90 to 95 percent of my clients they need a touch-up even though you see that they're healed they're not completely healed until six weeks after your first procedure so you need to come back and have them touch up if you want them to last longer and look beautiful for a longer period of time so make sure before you leave you talk to your microblading artist on how long do I need to wait before my touch-up. Now, sometimes the touch-up is included in the price, sometimes it's not. So you have to ask them all of those questions. I cannot tell you enough that you have to take care of your eyebrows. And you invested so much money, you invested two to three hours of one day to, to have your, uh, micro, your eyebrows microbladed. Just wait a week or two weeks before you go back to the gym before you go back to swimming so let me know how you took care of your eyebrows um, after your microblading um, procedure if you want to make an appointment with me i'm going to leave all my information down below in the comment section you can follow me on instagram facebook or you can even find me in google i have all the pictures of my my uh, clients there so you can you can see my work and um, if you like it just give me a call if this is your first time with us welcome and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notifications every time we have a new video um, if you've been here love you guys i do all this for you and um, i love to stay in touch with you so comment down below what is the best thing that you got from this video what is the what did you like about it or what do you do on your healing process or if you're thinking about having microblading done but you're you have some concerns let me know okay um i hope to see you soon be happy enjoy your life every single day just be happy hope to see you soon bye